Welcome back to an episode of We Are Next to a Well Bucket. And we are actually in the Whispering Depths. <laughs> it's time for us to figure out what all of this is. And, uh, hmm. What happens if we were to attack these creatures? Can we? Yeah, we can only attack it. Nothing happens. Okay, now we know. So what is this animal carcass thing? Enough waiting. I crave Maybe it triggered... Oh, let's just hope it doesn't trigger anything. But, uh, let's open that. Uh... Yep. This is definitely not good. But okay, uh, that's just... Oh, boy. Let's just hope they... <laughs> <laughs> we can kill it fairly quickly. Uh, 99% is actually pretty, 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 pretty high. Let's try this out. Okay. Uh, also pretty decent damage. Let's see. Uh, I could try to get uh, out of range again. Okay. So, what about the... Can't reach destination. Hmm. The problem is always that they are not looking in the right direction. But let's just see. Uh, I could just do normal attacks with them. Can't reach destination. What do you mean, can't reach destination? We can reach all of the destinations. Uh, this is 8 meters? That's 7. Uh, let's just go that way. Yeah, there we go. We got a weapon enchantment, so it should be... Pretty decent! Yeah, look at that! And some offhand damage. Sadly, we missed, but that's definitely not that big of a deal. Let's just go back. And... Uh, oh no, there are others. What about the face by the 24? Hmm. Okay, so... Do not interact with the animal carcass. Whoa. Uh, oh, that's just great. Oh, that's such a cool ability. And there is another one. Oh, boy. Okay, 24. How do I... Oh, there's a web down there. That's not good. Mm, difficult terrain web. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I have to do some kind of AOE thingy in there also. Let's see. Uh, how much damage can she actually do? Not that much. Uh, so it would be better for her to double move because yeah, she can't reach. Well, that's definitely not good. Uh, hmm. What about Lizo? This is not able to get this one, but that one. Uh, okay, let's just try this thing. We got one of them done, which is perfect. Don't want to use that ability yet. Uh, do I have anything good in... No other options here. Hmm, how far can they actually move? Web Walker. Isn't slowed. Hmm. Great. So I have to defeat this one somehow. If I were to get into range of that thing... It is now threatened, which means we have it easier uh, to attack it with Liesel somewhere. Double movement speed cost. Yes! Exactly. Oh no, wait a minute. Uh, jump is... Bonus action, yes. Jump. That's good, that's good, that's good. Go, my lady. Alright. And, uh... Yeah, I don't seem to have any other kinds of damages in here. Like 6 to 16 or... 6 to 16. 17, let's hope this works. Ha! Huh. We got ourselves a crit. That's good. And... Are we good now or not? There are... More other caps and spiders and whatnot. Uh, let's just move a little bit away from here, just in case. Oh, there's a to Ooh, there's a toxin. 
we are infested. Uh, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Uh, where are the others? There's someone up there. Alright. So I might be able to attack them. Mm. Only problem is how am I going up there? Well, so much for peace. So, first I have to get outside the web area. 70% uh, is actually pretty decent. Let's try that out. Alright. Mm. So, what about him? Is that a rep? What was that? Uh, made a successful save against condition in web. Again. Oh, because of this thing. Interesting. Okay, path is interrupted. Obviously. I... Um... Oh, the target is too far. That's not good. What about the other one? Okay, that's this thing. So I have to attack... Uh, could I move a little bit further away here? Yeah, target's too far. That's just too bad. Uh, but okay, let's just get him into hiding mode. That's done now. And move that one also a little to the side. Okay. Face spider is coming down now. Okay. Ooh, venomous discharge. Not cool. So, other Kepi, what are you gonna do? How am I gonna take care of you? Alrighty. So, how am I going to get that face spider guy? Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a lot of damage. Okay. Mm, that's definitely a good killer move for that one. But I would need to jump to them. Jump in here as a bonus action, but I would be able to get pretty far with that. Uh, that one would not be necessary. The thing is, you should always attack one enemy next, right? Uh, but no, I'm gonna go for the other cap first. Uh, let's just get as close to it as we can. Hope for the best. Alright, so 80 something damage. That's an action die. I cannot reload though, but let's just try that. Target must have a weapon in. Oh, crap. Okay. Anyway, that should work. Oh, what about this one? Oh, that's a good one. Um, 21 damage. What about the normal one? Also 21. What's the difference here? Ah, the bleeding thing. We don't need to bleed. At least we did some decent damage now. That's good. Uh, I could use some evasive footworks here. That's actually a pretty good one. That is actually pretty, 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 pretty good. It is. Wait a minute. The infestation is kind of weird. Uh, when hit with a melee attack, the infestation spreads to the attacker. Upon death, the infestation spreads to all nearby creatures. Uh huh. Well, um, that kind of sucks. Uh, what does it do? Two to eight damage per turn. Removed by fire or acid. Doesn't harm other caps or spiders. Fire or acid. Uh, there's a toxin on the ground. Only thing I could do is like throw um throw some fire on the ground with a with a, with a nah. I have to mm, throw acid on the ground because that would not damage me. So that would be good. Anyway, mm, we got her turn. Done. What about that one? Uh, we can deal like 6 to 16 damage. That's like roughly the maximum. 
Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What about that one? Uh, could I... Not really. What about jumping? Jumping would work again. Pretty, pretty interesting. Mm. That. What I have to do is... Not enough movement speed. What do you mean, not enough movement speed? There you go. See? Okay. It works. Okay. And attack. Bam. Much nicer. Now it's another one that is infected. Ah, oh, that's just so not cool. Okay, let's just end their turn. Uh, 90 something is actually pretty decent. I could try a hiding thing. Are we hiding right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Not enough. What do you mean, not enough movement speed? Like, look at this. Not. It says not enough movement speed. Somehow. Why? Uh, but if I use a normal attack, it somehow seems to work, which is weird. Path's interrupt Path is not interrupted. So, the sneak attack range doesn't work. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. That's kind of weird. But a normal attack works. <laughs> weird. Anyway, we got one done. Uh, next up. Yes. Let's just hope for the best. Noise. Still breathing, despite everything. Try me. And we got them all done. Only thing we need to do now is wait. Holy. By fire and acid, right? What you have to do uh, is get into turn-based mode and then... Oh, this is so not nice. Why do they need a saving throw? That's just so weird. Okay. Time to take a load off, isn't it? Yeah. Time to get some, uh, like, healing potions and stuff. Uh... Oh, it's a backpack. Some gold. What else we got here? Uh, be wary of animal carcasses. And strange, like. Uh. No! Ah, no, 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 no. Don't go up there. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. The fact that there's a second uh, level of that, it's not good. But cool. Silk cocoon. Bone light. Eh. What about that one? Ooh, could be sold. And edit to wares. What else? We could uh, open that cocoon somehow. Let's try that one. Ooh, nice. That's my stuff. And another helmet. Dexterity saving throw. It's actually quite nice, but no. We can just throw this out again. Uh, one goes to me. Hmm, can't reach destination. Well, I could reach it with some other means, I think. Uh huh. What to do? Well, yes, I do have a decent amount of health potions, but despite everything, could there be a better way to heal Karlik? I mean, I could do a short rest or something. Um, but a long rest would be better. Hey, <laughs> things you could just go in here, do a even long rest, and everything would be fine. I don't want to waste any potions on this one, though. That's the thing. Oh, spider cocoon. Oh, no, this is uh, the thing with items inside. So, what about that? What would happen if I attack it? Nothing. Okay. Uh, what about the map? What does it say? There's this thing here. And there's a upper region, lower region, whatever. And... Where do we go if we go for the... Dot? Why... Nothing happens there. Akaros a clutch. Oh, it's burning. Interesting. I could also try to attack that. That's a lot of rain. How much further can I go? Ah, and a torch. Nice. So what else do we have? What else? What else? What else? What else?
Uh, don't want to fight with them being only at half health. It's well be done. That's so not cool. Uh, I mean that. Yeah, let's use that one. Okay, what about Carla? Does she have anything to heal? Must be enraged. Uh, must have a stamina to heal yourself. Sure. Must be enraged. Available only in combat. Yeah. Once we got rage, uh, we can use the heal thing. Yeah. That could take a little while. Uh, do I have like some some other things uh, that can heal, like food, for example? Do we have food? Normally, you can just use like uh, short rests, like a madman, and everything should be fine. There's no reason to be that picky about it. Still, but still, where's my food? That's yeah, camp supplies. There you go. Two turns, whatever. Why does it say two turns? What does it do in two turns? Ah, alcohol condition has this advantage on dexterity and charisma checks. Actually, it should get you an advantage on charisma checks, if anything. Uh. Four to ten. Uh, that's a lot of health potions that you have to chuck down. A lot of health potions. Uh, is there no, like, ability that I can use that heals them? That's like a ritual of some, of some sort. Also not really. Where? Hmm. Like the long rest stuff, I actually want to keep for special occasions. Yeah, we are. On, we're, we're just go. we're just going to uh, chuck down health potions. Um. Right. Why is that one not in the? Hey, you can't just. Oh, that would be nice, right? Go up and down in that view here. Yeah. Uh, not enough. You need a slight bit more. Still not enough, but now. <laughs> Drink it. Uh, next one is 10. Alrighty. So, we are fully healed. Uh, no more issues, I believe. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all crave blood. The blood. Ooh, health potion. Look at that. Isn't that great? And another skeleton. Uh, that one is like sellable. Same goes for this. And that one goes to me. Ooh, oh. Absolutely. Actually, everybody uh, should need this bonus. Because it's three turns, right? And you. Do not live for that long, usually. Uh, the idea is to finish the fight within like five turns or so. That's enough to... Like if you focus down one enemy each time, then you can deal like 50-ish damage, if it's good. Uh, which means you can take down a boss every single turn. But they are not always like 50 bosses or so, so uh, 50 bosses. Uh, there are not always five bosses. The idea with the ogres was just a lucky coincidence. But these are just free, if anything. Um, Alright, so let's see. Let's pick that up. That's now yours. Oh, alchemist fire buttons. So, let's see. Yeah, as you can just pick this up. Uh, apprentice journal. What's in there? Uktar 1371 DR. Let it be known that I left my homeland because I was bound to my master and not because I chose to. Were it not for the oath, I swore I would still be home, serving the sulkers and not tending to hogpox in this crude hamlet. However, an oath is an oath and I will serve him. 
as is my duty until I am released. The early journal entries are written in a delicate, intricate script that gets rougher and wilder the more pages you turn. It ends with one hastily scrawled entry. They did it. The dark Jessica's got the old bastard before the sulks could. Now he's bleeding out and once he's gone, I'll be free of his oath. I can go back. I'll return the tomb of no <laughs> necromancy he stole. They'll forgive me then. They'll know I'm loyal. The key game secure in the tunnels. Once I have it, I'll slip into the cellar, take what I can carry, and then home. Okay. Unlock the ancient tomb. Well, I did. Uh, or did, did. No, wait a minute. I do need something else for it, don't I? Garnet ring is something nice to sell. Scroll of cloud and daggers. Nice. Conjure a nice cloud. That could be something useful. Let's uh pick it up like that. Because some. Oh, we can actually attack it. Immune to psychic damage. Hmm. Okay. So, what about the. Uh, why can't I look at the leather cloths? Properly. I can only do it like that. It's so dark in here that's not working. And these are like wear thingies. Good. It would be nice to have a wear button or something. Don't know if it exists. Maybe I forgot that this button was over there. Huh. <laughs> where? Get it. Because where? And well, in it. Mm-hmm. Very well. So, we got more torches. Uh, it weighs a little bit, but it also has a decent, uh, decent value. Oh, come on! Why is that torch actually? That's kind of weird. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Uh, wasn't there something? That's blighted village. An investigation failed. Well, that's just great. Roll the critical miss. Action. What about Lisa? One true way. Ah. Nice. And we can just attack the wall and break it. Immune to slashing damage. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let's get going. Immune to fu- Ah, there you go. Somehow range attacks work. There you go. And we got ourselves. Uh, Moving safety ahead. spot. I just hope there's no one down here. Nice. Perception fail. All this, everybody's perception fail. Success. A trap. Move oh. purpose. Trust no one. Okay, so if there's a trap, then... Uh, we could attack it. Yeah. We could also try to disarm the whole thing. So, let's give him a little bonus just in case. That should do the trick just fine. Nice. Alright. Indolence breeds madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's inside the chest? Oh, High Cliff Blueprints. 
Let's just read this. Precise ox and neatly drawn lines from the blueprints of three weapons. A great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions. Are printed carefully along the bottom of the page. Emphasizing an unusual ingredient, sussle bark. The sussle bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. Weapon blueprints. They call for sussle bark. Ah, sussle bark. Sussle trees native to the Underdark. If my teachings were correct. Underdark it is there. Good to know. Well, let's just uh, empty all of those trunks in here. What is this one? Ooh, a warhammer. I love it. Uh, and the light hammer. Sweet. They are kind of cool and all, but uh, heavy nonetheless. And the war pig. Sweet. I have to take this uh, and sell it at the. N Thieves tools, this one is uh, stereo and stuff. I have to take it uh, and sell it at the nearest merchant so that I can get more. Ah, no, 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 we don't take the fork. Forks are not what we want. And by the way, what about... Uh, torches, yes. Hmm. Let's move. Why does it look so dark for some reason? There you go, much nicer. Eager for battle. There's nothing in it, obviously. A tin plate. Oh, well, nah, worth nothing. There's some tea. Camp supplies, yes. And the fork, okay. So all the cutlery is like worth pretty much nothing. Uh, that's like wares. There should be a pick up and wares button, just in case. Uh, the glass chalice, worth nothing. Stack of books, nothing. Can you? I mean, no, you cannot pick up the stack of books. That would be amazing. Um, let's read this one. I must say, for a place with so many orcs and goblins, Thesk is a remarkable, pleasant land, a true melting pot, where all are accepted and quite a lot seem to be permitted. Alas, the crew I sailed here with were imprisoned by the harbor masters. But it was soon on the road known as the Golden Way, and it lives up to its name. The wealth of a continent marches along this road. First from Netherwinter and iron from Nashville flow in one direction, while skill, silks and jewels flow the other. I have heard so many stories of the world. The Golden Way passes through Rash, Rash, Rashimin, through the wastes of the Horde lands, and on to the continent of Karatur. Of empires, dragons, and beasts. I've never dreamed of. I'm so close to Rajaman, but what was once my dream now sounds so mundane. Last night I made camp and was joined by a charming fellow. I told him my dream of seeing Rajaman, and he laughed. He claims that Rajaman is nothing compared to they, and invited me to visit the court of the Zolkirs. It seemed rude to turn down such an illustrious invitation, so I will see what this they has to offer. Then, Rashomon and beyond. So, and the Magabe, nice. Not consume, just pick up and no wares, yes. The craft of water is worth a decent amount, but I don't know if... Uh, the thing is those uh, consumable items um, weigh a bit too much. There you go. Nah, again. Shears. Shears and hammers. Great. That's the thing there. Some rooms. Some sacks. Some tomato. Uh. Objective noted. Hey, wait a minute. You can't actually throw this stuff at people, right? Uh, that's a stereo. Open up. Nothing there. Some ropes. Some table. And... Uh, Nothing on the table. Just get the sh the short sword. Right. There you go. Pick up an head too. Actually, let's examine that just in case. Yep. Is there another short sword? Yes. Found and taken. Inventory management. 
We are the cleaners. We make everything clean. We... That's a stereo. For these situations, it would be nice to have some kind of active loot filter, right? Something that just moves items into or out of inventory spaces. Certain characters. Ooh, we're very close. Okay. Karlek is the one that needs to pick up items in a moment. Stereo again. Good. Torches, 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 torches. Nothing like that. Can't even use this uh, the stone here in order to shop me your weapons. That would have been a very, very interesting way of doing that. Okay, a wooden chest. Smoke powder barrel, what? Too heavy, obviously, but... What? Whoa! Uh, the smoke powder inside explodes when ignited, damaging everything in the vicinity. Automatically critical hits objects and environments. Wow. Um, it weighs at home, and uh, that would be a very, very nice way to get forward and maybe to defeat bosses. <laughs> so, what about the club? Let's pick that one too. Someone there. Mm, it seems locked, but how do we open that? Well, that was obvious, kind of. Let's lockpick the thing. With pleasure. Wow. Success. And then here we got ourselves Infernal Iron. Okay. That's uh, definitely something for me. This can help Damon patch up my engine. Oh yeah. Metal. Uh, blacksmith notes. What's in here? Specimen metal. Huh? Okay. Hardness 9.5. Very hard. Melting point unknown. Color silver. Markings. Red lacerations. Flagged with yellow dust. Source underdark. Hmm. No, it's a gift from redacted. Faintly sulfuric odors. Forging unsuccessful. Will not melt or warp at standard temperatures. A very, 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 very good thing. Um, pick up an add to. No, wait a minute. This is not the character that needs to add things to. Uh... There you go. Steel forged sword. That is actually a pretty decent sword. There's just one teensy wing issue. Oh, it's a it's a finesse weapon. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Um, let's pick this up in two S because I have a s well right now I uh, handle the this thing, but uh, it's light and it's a finesse weapon. The light thingy I think makes it throwable or what was it? Can be dual wielded. No, no, that was the thing. Uh, with another light weapon. It's does pretty decent damage. Um, and it has a weapon enchantment. It's pretty nice. The problem with dual wielding is that uh, you could also just attack twice or something. And you would also forego your uh, defenses uh, with like shielding and stuff. Right? Why can't I... Where's my shield? Also, how do you... The... Wait a minute, was it H? No, H was uh, another one. There is a button that lets you... Either U, I, O, or P, something like that. No, that's not it. Ah, uh, it was U, okay. Yeah, now I have that shield on, and the shield is actually pretty, Come pretty, 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 pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, saving throw is always great. And bonuses to armor class. You can never not have not enough armor class. <sighs> but let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, she can still carry a bit more. Don't know what to do with that. Oh, wait a minute. It's a magical item, right? Uh, magical items mean we can feed this uh, to the beast. Uh, which one is it? Was it that one? No, that's quest items. Scrolls. There you go. This is the stuff that I wanted to feed uh, to to Gale, actually. Like, I have 
Maybe no clue what to use it for. Okay, high cliff blueprints. Let's move this to the side. That one goes to the side, and that one goes over here. High cliff blueprints, more like that. Basilisk oil, turn a petrified creature back to... This is... yeah. Sounds very special, that's why I have that in here. But uh, I would think that I would... Just forget about that completely. Uh, come on. No way to have to use I instead. Is that blood? Yeah, no. much better. So that one goes in here, so it stacks automatically. Uh, scroll of blood. Do I have any other scrolls? No. Uh, scrolls. Ah, there it is. The thing is. I don't know if it would be better to just let other characters also use scrolls from time to time in order to trigger an effect or something. Ah, wait. There's this door. Totally forgot about that. Ah, there you go. So, what do we have here? A wheelbarrow and a shovel that's worth pretty much nothing. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What do we have here? A nice dagger. Perfect. And a sickle, also lightweight. Decent damage. Pretty neat. So, uh, to keep this in mind, I want to know at what exact weight Onward. it gets difficult for her to move. Because you only have this, uh way of looking at it in terms of uh, I've got a long road ahead. where is it there you go you only have uh, a way to look at this in terms of Indolence breeds madness. in terms of color actually so pick up an add to wears pearl of sack uh, let's see what else we have here some bottles with no bottles in it. Hmm. So, and the cupboard. So many thieves tools. Nothing up here. Nothing up there. Right. Oh, more burlap stuff. Some shoes. Hmm. I mean, they do look kind of neat, no? They do look kind of neat. Uh the question is what character Still breathing despite everything. Oh. And thing is still open. Uh one to eight. I mean we can just we can just sell it, right? We can just sell it. Onward. These shoes look decent. Uh shabby wooden doors to what area? This is the room. Nothing there. Ah, no, I don't want to take this cheese stuff. Oh, gold, yes. This arm kit goes to not use. Can I, like, no. I have to use another character to pick this up. Okay. He's going to pick that up. He's going to try this and this. Nope. Ah, that was not what I wanted. I guess you can just uh, right-click this, pick up an Atuers or whatever. That would be the easiest way. More Vagabond stuff, right. The fact that there's still merchants around that are willing to pay gold for this is just astonishing. Let's see, what else do we have here? Ah, large bottle. That could be worth not much. No, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, there you go. Okay, mm. I think that's it, pretty much. So, back home one thing I have to do is like get rid of the torch over here. So, 
What direction is that, though? Oh, we can just pull the lever. Ah. Now it unclicks it. Perfect. So, we got that one done. I mean, I have it. I have an elf. I should be able to look into the darkness. Or at least see a bit more. Kind of feels as if I see nothing. Oh. Ooh. It's burning. And it does more damage. There's a way of making some light, though. So, what about... Not encumbered yet. Okay. Very good. Hmm. That's how you do this. Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh. Okay. Oh, wait. How do you... cannot pick this up. Only thing we can do is like destroy it a wee bit. Just make sure that there's nothing coming out of it. Good. So what's the purpose of this all? Okay, so let's see. Uh I don't want to get caught up in that anymore. Uh, let's just see. Let's get everybody close enough. Ah, oh, yeah, come on. Uh. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. It failed. Uh huh. Failed again. Unable to move while immobilized. Sure. And there you go. So the idea here is to not stand on it uh, and use. Jumps to make that work. Eager for battle. Can't give up now. One thing that they could oh, have. Ends well. Nah. One thing that they could have definitely nice made better is to change to a prone. That's not nice. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, now I get it. Okay. Let's but that's still... Really? We destroyed the web. That's just absolutely great. We destroyed the web, but we still get enwebbed in it. Makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. So, let's see. Uh, well, we know. Uh, the apprentice bag I picked are... The skeleton is also empty. Oh, the rusted blade. Yes, let's pick this up and add it to where. What else we got down here? There's another silken cocoon. Did we forget that? No, we didn't. All of this is pretty much picked up. And uh, that was the entrance. Then you could go up there somehow. Wait a minute. Uh, that's like the higher level thing. All right. Now the question is, how do we make it so we do not get caught in the spider web stuff? Because at one point it just gets annoying. Okay. I have a lot on my mind. And Looks well, like a crack wall. Righty. 
Thank goodness ranged attacks don't... Not considered to be sharp weapons. Oh! Skeleton. With a bone inside. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so there are basically two ways of getting down here. Uh, the other way would be to... Uh, yeah, you could just uh, jump down from there afterwards, but... Okay. So there are two ways into the the blacksmith area. That's good. So, now I just want this thing. Uh, yeah, don't want any others to get caught in here, so let's see. What kind of... Acid vulnerability. I mean, I want to know what kind of saving throw this is. Uh, save, fail, team fail. Uh, what kind of saving throw? Against web. In web. What is this? Uh, dexterity saving throws. I mean, I am very dexterous, so... Uh, what now? Come on. Alright. So, let's jump down there. Pick this up. Another loot! Yes! So, that's... Uh, can definitely pick this up. Don't know what to do with the loot, though, but... I just have another one, just in case. So... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You could just go all the way around here. Da -da 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 -da. Then, where are the others? Then you go this way, down there. And then we could meet up somewhere down there also. Ah, there's another skeleton. Alright. What a day. Go. Eager for battle. Do -do 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 Let's get them a wee bit closer just in case. No time to rest. And think back fires. Nothing there. Ah, uh, another cocoon. Ooh, okay. That's like where's? Nice. Now what else we got? Uh another spider egg. Let's check that. Dead goblin child. Woo! I have to be sure about that. Watch Wait a minute. That one can be attacked with range. Noise. So, what else we have here? Uh, let's just move over. There. No action, not reaction. Me? What now? Yeah. Uh, now we are going to destroy. All of those Ico thingies or whatever, face bag. Exactly. Why does it have health in it? It has a certain intangibility to the feel of the Zag as if it might blink out of existence. It'd be nice to learn the blink spell from them though. What to do? Uh, what to do? What to do? What to. Oh! No, wait. There's more. Much, much, much more. Okay. Mm. All of the items are done there. Same thing with a goblin child. And some other stuff up here. If not Let's over. just uh, move true. ourselves in Watch your back. a good ranged area over there. Can I jump down there? I would be prone. Oh, wait a minute. Um... That was actually kind of stupid. Um, prone. There you go. Really? What now? Come on. Let's get away from it. Perfect. Let's get in. So, what about the goblin child? There is a toy block. Sad. Oh, 
Look at this. Spider cocoons. No one stopped me yet. Uh, let's attack those. Takes a wee bit to destroy them. Really now? The boots are hanging there now. That's just great. They're not falling down, right? The the item hangs right where you left it. Oh, the spider web can be destroyed. Ooh, ooh. interesting. It was a spider wall. Uh, can she actually? I can't see any of those items now. There was a dagger somewhere up here, which I can't see because. You know what? There you go. Pick it up in a twist. Ah, at least something is working. Good. Mm, what else we got? We got a club. Where is that club though? Ah, right. There are on the. Eh, whatever. Right click. I can only destroy it. Okay. Have to be very thorough, it seems. Good. Uh, that is like. How much is it? 10. Okay. Let's just close this down. Ah, yes. Ooh, Persian of Animals speaking. Sweet. Well, well. Not here. Well, well, well. Can she jump all the way up there? That is just insane. I am impressed. Another nice morsel, sweet. So, when it comes to jumping, you... That's kind of weird. A fine choice. Will be done. Really, really, really weird. Okay, uh... Oh, I could go for a oh wait, that's meal. the wrong one. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna get caught here. No, wait, 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 wait. Why can't I... There you go. Attack the eye core. Soldier? Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's also a word thingy. So, spider egg. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Go. This is with this annoying problem that you do not know if all of those spider eggs turn into spiders at the end of the road. That one goes all the way down there. Da, 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 da. And then there was the this way, all the way down here. All the way down even further. Okay, let's just stand right up here. That should actually be a pretty, pretty decent spot. Oh, there you go. Face by the matriarch. Uh, face spider, okay. So, how many do we have? I count 30. And, um, 100 and... Ooh. 20. The thing is, I can't get there without getting in web. So, the best way would be to, uh, stay exactly where we are right now. And, um, uh, could we maybe talk to it? I don't know. Would be nice. 
Okay, so there's 30 enemies and one matriarch. Uh, let's just make a big save just in case. Ha, 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 ha. Right. Mm. It goes back and forth, but it can't go all over the place. And um, this is another face spider egg. I mean, if it hatches, I'm screwed, right? Maybe I should stay crouchy forever. So what I have to do is attack it. Oh wait, there you go. How far can I actually attack? Hmm. That also works. I'm kind of impressed. Okay. Uh, that should have been. There's more eggs. Where they came from. Not nice. Absolutely not nice. Okay. Don't waste a step. I don't need Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. It's always now. Target is too far. Why is the target too far? So I could go down in here, go around it, then climb all the way up here again. Best How far can I actually attack? I'm lost. Not that far. Okay, so I... Uh, ah, that no, should work. Um... You gotta be. Can't have disadvantage against target. What do you mean, can't have disadvantage? What do you mean, can't have disadvantage? What disadvantage is there? Target is too far. Target was not too far. Target was at the perfect location. For some reason, I wasn't able to attack it, which is weird. Fellow of monsters hiding. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. I could just attack this one from up here and make the fight fairly easy, but the better way would be to attack the big one first, just in case. Um, oh, because I'm on the web. Let's just end our turn and see what happens. Everybody else. Oh no, wait a minute. It's down there. What's it doing? I uh, knew it. I absolutely knew it. Uh, kind of did my uh, power is interrupted. What do you mean? Okay. This is web. This is perfect daylight. That's just... I, ah! Why must the path be interrupted? Why must this one be in the webbing thing? Okay, let's just hope this works. Uh, where's my action? Where's it going? And cro... Eh? What now? That's kind of weird. But okay, let's just attack it again. Blood follows me everywhere. Immune to simple toxin. Uh. Uh huh. Since when do I do simple toxins? That's weird. Fellow of Monster, you have advantage against monstrosity type enemy. Oh. Well, that's good. That makes things very, very easy now. Uh, let's see. We are going to stand there. I don't know what's going on with Asterion, but somehow... Um, I wasn't able to use the... Hide attack. I 
I just need to attack that spider webby thing. Somehow. Uh could also attack it with the offhand, so I don't waste that many attacks. You've got to be kidding me. So, now they are prone. Pretty much dead. Must have advantage against enemy. What do you mean? Don't I have the high ground? <laughs> uh, what do I have? Simple toxin. Uh, I have a toxin. I take damage, yes. But I... Disadvantage, why? Target outside normal range. Okay, so... Uh, well then... Target outside normal range. How is that outside normal range? Target outside normal range again. Target inside range. So I uh I can stand on the webbing and get myself an nah okay. Let, let's just ignore that. Um also have advantage against I'm pro and wet. Oh, every time. What is this? Simple toxin. Uh I am going around that. So, uh, must have advantage against Saga. Yeah, come on. Uh, deal extra damage to a foe you have advantage against, which I don't for some reason. It's so strange. Right. Where is it phasing to? What's it doing? Ooh! Come on, that's cheating, that's cheating, that's cheating, that's cheating. Um. Oh boy, that's so cheap. Um. The thing is, it can just jump around and uh, deal AoE damage and whatnot, and this is so not cool. Okay, so Lethal is definitely going to die in a moment. Um, what does Liesl have on there? Uh, attack rolls, abilities and whatnot. She needs to get away. What is this? Uh, it is not this character's turn. Click to jump to the character who started. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, she could jump down here and get prone once that is done, which is not good. Uh... Getting rid of the face spiders is, was a good idea. There's a few more down there. Yeah. Okay. I need to do like... Yeah, cleave damage. They were up to three enemies. Which is a little bit of an annoying limitation. So, what kind of range attack do we have? Like 312. Still not enough. Not enough movement in order to go down here. But I could... Seven... I could go down here and jump, but this is definitely not a good idea. Um, I have the high ground and I should keep it that way. And... Uh, definitely going to try as a piercing shot, maybe. Wait a minute, why, why can't I do this? Not one of movement speed. Why does nothing in here work? What about a normal range attack? Why do we not have... There we go. Not enough movement speed. Why do I have to go down in order to do that? Why can't I just stand up here? Do a range weapon attack and then that should be done, yes. Immune to simple toxins. Why? Oh boy. Totally forgot that there's Still like. My feet. Does it have any weaknesses though? Resistant to Tom yeah, makes sense. Uh. Not against all of the other things. Uh, the thing is, if I were to blind them, th 
then they have disadvantage and they uh, would probably not be able to see me, right? Uh, attack rolls, range of attacks and spells is reduced to 3 meters. The problem is they can just... Also, the jump would be reduced to 3 meters, right? That's the nice thing about it. Okay, I could try the Horde Breaker. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. What did that target two characters sitting close to each other? Shoot the first creature and get a free shot at the second. Uh Did I or did I not attack it? Creature is open to a follow-up attack. Not enough resources. Action. Huh? The idea of a follow-up attack is there to work. To get me a follow-up attack. Like, why do I need another action for this? Or do I have to do this immediately after? And once I take too long, then the whole thing doesn't work anymore. That's kind of weird. That is really weird. Okay, so simple toxin, immune to it. Great. Let's just end this one's turn. Uh, yeah, she's also kind of all right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The thing is, uh, if I go back, yeah, I can just go back. Then it should make it more difficult for them to attack me, right? I hope so. And what about them? They just deal a bit too much damage. Okay, what about you, Weasel? I have to heal up a lot. Okay. So, we are poisoned. That's what gets us disadvantage. That's not cool. Don't have any more bonus actions, and <laughs> that's the short rest thingy that is that backfires right now. But okay, I just go there and kill it. Okay, one less problem in that world. Okay, at least it's gonna stand here. Let's just hope she's not going to die. Oh no. Why is that so much damage? Why? I have to use heal on pretty much all the characters right now. Can't focus on the biggie down there. That's so not nice. Okay. Mm, let's see. So, what is, could Asterion do? Asterion could attack this one. He's threatened and poisoned. Attack of opportunity against all the spiders because reasons. Um, I can attack three times and I think I can one, two, three. Yeah, I can get rid of an awful lot of those spiders. Uh, target is too close. Well, it doesn't matter. We still have the high ground. Wait, um, I have to make sure that I only attack once. Where was the button to switch that? Uh, that's an offhand attack and that's the other offhand attack, but wasn't there a button to switch there, this one? Okay. Now I can use the attack and the offhand in order to do this. The problem is, it's six damage. Six damage is a lot. Um... It would be better for me to use some kind of AOE thingamajay. Like a scroll of burning hand. Yes. Uh, Karlak. Karlak, why do I have to stand there? Okay. Good. Now they should be Bernie. Which is those? The big one. Okay. Right. Uh, 
Uh, so I lost my action, uh, but I can still do a, a heal, but I need to do a big heal, but I don't have a big uh, health potion, right? Uh, so I click and uh, drink. <laughs> this is so stupid. It works. Great. All right. Let's get out of this toxin thing. So, Asterion is good now. It's perfect. Uh, uh, it's Biggie's turn. So not cool. I should have get, gotten rid of those spider eggs before. Uh, crap. Should have gotten rid of it. At least I got rid of the the other ones down there, but still, it annoys me. Another fight. Let's go. So seventy something. The thing is that I can shoot through yeah, some targets outside normal range. Well, seventy something could work. I don't know. I could try the horde break. Uh, uh, that one is dead, which is good. And then I could try to attack it, like... So I don't want to get the simple toxin thing. How far can I go, by the way? Yeah, I still have a bit more... ...range here. Let's try this. On my way. I just hope this works. Still outside normal range. That's not nice. Alright. What I need... No, I just have to focus it down. No need, no nothing. Just sheer brute force. Okay. One is done. What about that? I have to get rid of that one, but that would be a bit... Uh... The thing is, it's a kind of a waste of my attacks if I do this. Other way would be to use a normal attack. But at least now it's gone, right? At least now it is gone. What about that one? Do we have a drop down attack or something? Not enough actions recently. <laughs> what about that one? It's like four damage? Not enough. I could do this. Attack it. But it would only deal four damage, which is not good. could enrage and heal myself. Yes. But I don't have any more actions. Ugh. No matter what you do, uh, it's kind of messed up. Right. Let's a Karlak drink that. Uh, that one is going to step around. Didn't I just... Manage something. Okay, we got it. Right. Uh, ah, okay. I think I got it. So, let's see. Do we have a uh, small one? Okay. Asterion. Target is too far. Well, obviously. Um, what about that one? Can't trip on the spider web. Let's do this. Hey! Tons of damage. So this is how you destroy that spider. Once it jumps on that spider web, you can... Well, there are so many items around there. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you can... ...try to let it fall down and so on and so forth. That is actually a pretty good idea. I can try another offhand shot. Let's see. 
not working. That's just great. Okay. Let's just get into better range with a bit of luck. This is just a good positioning. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. Ooh, it missed. That's good. What is that wrath, though? Creature is enraged. Gained an additional attack per turn. Strength increased by two and armor class by reduced by one. Oh, so it's easier to kill it now. That's good. That is very good. Say bye bye. Alright, so we got another one. As for the short re I really have to do a short rest anyway, so that's good. Make a non-lethal attack against an enemy and possibly daze them. Well, possibly. Oh, Karlik used Pommel Strike on da 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 da, it's a hit, and they rolled this one. Nice reaction. Okay. So, Karlik is a done for. Once I get out of range, I am screwed, so I have to do this. I still have advantage, that's kind of weird. Shouldn't I have disadvantage against the creature if I do this in, like... Melee distance. It's kind of weird. It should work. It definitely should work, but okay. I could also try to shove it away a little bit. But no, we're not gonna do that. So, let's try the... Uh, the last attack here. Look for the best. There you go. Biggie's dead. Now... Let's get off of this web somehow. Just have to attack those spiderlings. Oh, yeah. So, this is uh, the normal attack. And we do this attack. And then we do this attack. Which misses, but this is not a proper. This is a short rest thing, and I don't want to... Well, I... I could just waste it. Problem is... Soldier! One of the ages. Oh yeah, he's a little inspired. Ah, pretty decent fight. And we managed to win against it. Stupid creatures. Can we actually talk to her now? Does she have an opinion about it? Curious. I drained you dry, yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Well, isn't that great? So, any chances of sharing our bunks again anytime soon? Yes. Uh, hmm. I'll consider it if I am in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it. Ooh. How nice is that? So... Right. Now, time for us to clear up the area. Oh, a poisonous rope. Ah, this is, actually looks pretty sweet. Now, what is this thing? Uh, standard armor class. When the warrior casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional uh, 1 to 4 damage. It's actually pretty sweet. Actually pretty, pretty sweet. This one is for me, and uh, a rock grenade. Nice. And also a chemical resource. Uh, one thing that I have a problem with is uh, all of those simple toxins on the ground. They make it very difficult to traverse the area. Hello. Can't reach. No, we can reach it. The game just thinks that it needs to be a wee bit pissy right now. So, let's see. Where is it? There. There needs to be a group uh, loot method. Just the case. Can I, like... Yeah. Do these spiders really don't not have any items for me to loot. Like, come on. Alright, so we got most of those, which is good. 
And I can go down here or up there. Can I actually get up here? Uh, cracked rocks, yes. Uh, there's a way up here from the other side. Good. So, save, 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 save. Save is save. How do we go down there then? I'm going to try a somewhat safe-ish kind of road. Let's go down there like so. Everybody got us. Yeah. Against the condition. I say. Good. What about that one? Longbow. Nah. It's where stuff. It's wrong thing. Skeletons. Right. So you can go up here and up there. That's a crack thingy. So it looks like an arm or something. Bone, arm, whatever. Ah, that was the web door that I destroyed. Okay. Pile of bones. No, we don't need that. Pile of skeletons. Oh, yes, we definitely do need this. This is like... Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ooh, the dark amethyst. Ah, uh, further, further, this further, and idea. even further. No, we're not going to jump down there. Uh, we have to be very careful not to jump onto that uh, spider web, so that we don't, by accident, trigger anything. So it would be nice if all of them were to stand not on the spider web because it makes me go crazy. Right. Shouldn't have wished to live in more. Let's see. Times. Dark amethyst. Go. Oh, just like that. Now we can unlock the ancient tomb. Tome. To the two, to the two, to the One day I'll catch a break. Definitely gonna do this a little. Da, 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 da. Liesel, no! Making me sweat. Mm-hmm, yeah. Marching. Eh, uh, no carcasses over here. And if I were to... Come on. Like, I can move the camera almost all over the place. Every single time, right? But somehow, this cracked rock is the limit. Good, there's something here. I could go to the other side. Or like this. Uh, the spider stopped somewhere down there. Okay. Now, there's the chasm. Oh, ancient sigil. Yes, 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 yes. Got ourselves a waypoint. Nah, hi. Ah. I didn't want to get the bloody boat. Okay, that is where thingy, and this is my thingy. Perfect. And the golden boy. Oh yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So we got ourselves a teleporter thingy right around here. What does the map say? Map's pretty good, except for that part right over here. Wait a minute. Um. You started from that area, and this one here either goes into the... Huh. Don't know where it's going. It just continues. Is there no exit? Chasm. Oh, I could have just thrown the spider down there, but hmm. Yeah, only afterwards are you getting some insight in that. Oh, chasm thingy. Oh, that's too much, too much toxin. Ah, oh, now they take damage again, do they? 
simple toxin is just pain, really. All over the place. Really, not nice. Okay. I have to get back to camp very quickly. Is there really nothing else there? Yet? That was who? Okay, nope. But we got the spider. Just kind of weird. Oi. Yeah, look at that. Found something. Sweet. Oh, this is definitely a wear kind of thingy. We found something. So, the shovel. Is that worth any... Uh, wait a minute. That was some interesting insight here. There, shovels can be used to dig up stuff. Like this little text up here. It's more like a game-specific hint. And not like some flavor text that you usually see. So, Karlik. Oh, disorders of the nerves and mind. Okay, let's read this one. There came to me a woman, whom I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual tempers of her husband, whom I shall henceforth call B. Three months prior, he had suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep that he bore the mark of the chaos. Two months prior, he would take to calling himself by the name Saravak. One month ago, he'd speak of little else but the throne of which he is destined. I attended to, to be at the Cabo's farmhouse. He sat calmly at the table, an unknown book clutched to his chest. I detected no curse nor loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he raised the book high and explained, The deaths they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the half, where it burned, not in red or yellow flame, but pure black. It left but a single scrap, reading, He foresaw his coming death and seeded his essence across the land. He shivered and sighed, as if waking from nightmare. He had no memories of the book, nor the words he had spoken. Diagnosis, unspecific neurotic enthrallment. Treatment, herbal tinctures of garlic and durace, sipped thrice a day until exhaustion lifts. Right. On death and resurrection. I think I've read this one many, 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 many times. So, did I? Next up from the ongoing meta text, we bound Leosifer Elka, yeah. But once we pushed aside the mysticism, do I, yada, yada, yada. Perhaps one day this great volume is learned, and so on and so forth. Yeah, we get this one. Uh, let's put this to where's again. So, the bottle itself is worth nothing. Uh, the glass thingy, absolutely worth a lot. What am I gonna do with the carafes of water, though? A cup and a tin plate. The cup's worth what? And the instance is worth good. Yeah, decent amount of stuff. Decent. This one goes to Steren. Same goes for the anti-trap things. And the trap's actually good for everybody, but wooden bucket. Nope. Does someone definitely? Oh, was hiding somewhere down here. So this one goes to me, to me, and spiderweb immune to being inwept. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. Your movement speed is not affected by web surfaces. <sighs> okay, so before you fight any of those spiders, try to make it to this little cave. And then everything will be fine. Ah, bollocks. That is... Absolutely great. Tarted journal, hoi. A journal filled with hastily scratched 
diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. They can sense my devotion, it draws them. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the Dark Mother. I woke to a gift wrapped in spider silk, a pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Loth sends her daughters to reward my faith, to let me know I am an, on the right path. Another gift, the corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face, an arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. Interesting. But did we actually learn any magics from it? Don't think so. So there's a ritual diagram. Oh. oh. Web covered journal. What about that one? This book's leaves are stuck together with thick webbing that leeches ink when pulled from the page. Only the final entry remains remotely legible. It is time. I will forever transcend this blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the Queen's image. No longer will I be bound to the sloth's lowly form, this base shape of organ and bone. Even the arachnomancers of Emenzo Branson shall whip at my feet. That little spell so feeble and fleeting. Today I found the house of loss and I shall be its matriarch. Interesting. Let's pick it up and add it to where is again. So... A wicker chest. Ooh! Scroll of Shatter. Yep. Definitely take this before you fight the boss. Oh, wait a minute. You can speak with the dead. Uh, to a humanoid corpse, yes. That limits it a bit. Scroll of web. Ah, oh, you can do this too. Pretty neat. But, um. Dead. I am the one that uses all of the uh, spells and so on, so let's just do this. Stagger books with nothing in it. I'm gonna interact with the diagram at the end, I would say. Uh, the cleaver is a decent ish kind of weapon. No, no, no. We're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. La di da di da di do. Come on, I want to interact with the cleaver. There you go. Why can't you use right click and alt at the same time? That would be nice. Oh, and burn journal. What's so special about that? Why can't I interact with that? Okay, at least we got it. A brazier? Yeah, let's make some light up here. Plates, cups, cauldrons, and other thing in between. Isn't one of those. Nope. A bit more valuable than the others. The others, no. Nope. 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 Bloody journal. Wait, wait. There's a bloody journal. Didn't read that one. Okay. Two more journals to go. The Burn Journal. Most of this book's pages have been carefully burned away. Uh, those that remain contain a single sentence rewritten in varying states of agitation. In a form I find ecstasy, the spell's not enough. And what about this one? Though originally a screed on Lolf's pendant blood, this book's crimson script has been smeared away in several places. A different handwriting atop it. I recall my life upon the surface with more than regret. I weep for the decades spent to reading the murky borders of profanity while my true queen waited in the shadows. Even my name, Elliot, feels foreign and foul upon my tongue. A high elf, exalted by Lolf herself, my drow captors cannot fathom it. But I see their house downfall in visions granted by the Spider Queen herself. When that day comes, when some unnamed whelp from an insignificant house cuts the matron mother's thread, I will escape. I will find solitude and I will worship Lolf with my very soul. Interesting. A solitary spider. Nice. Oh, now we know more.
The thing is, now I know more, but come on. There's still this strange diagram here of a ritual. Let's move. If he would have done that before, maybe we could have uh, evaded the fight a bit. Oh, wait, there's a... Maybe we wouldn't have needed to fight. Okay, this seems to be just there for decorational purposes, but okay. So that's progress. Let's see. What's this one good for? An ornate diagram in, is drawn upon this parchment, depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom two fingers, a spider and an elf are sketched within overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. Oh, and that's it. Oh, we can pick it up and wait a minute. How valuable is this? 14. Mm. Yeah, we can pick it up and add it to words then. If it's sellable, it's going to be sold. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's pretty much everything from the Whispering Depths. Uh, and we are uh, probably going to heal ourselves without any use of potions and so on. I need my special abilities back. Okay. And wait a minute. Was it this one? Yes. Uh, this one. That all of those go in here. Right. Uh, this is quest stuff. Uh, exactly. This one goes down here. Don't know what to do with the warp thingy here. Let's just move this somewhere else. Alright. Alrighty. The only problem with Gale is that I don't really have access uh, to the items in the pouch. Only it's oh, infernal iron is a quest-related item, wasn't it? Yes, it goes in here. Right, and the dagger. Why is the dagger still there? Makes no sense. But okay. Oh, and this is also a very special thing. Let's move this in there too. Nice. All of the cool ones. Uh, mysterious artifact does not want to be moved and the dark amethyst yes uh, the dark amethyst and the tomb tomb whatever this one here the necromancer of day this one has to be placed right in there perfect that's a gem i was looking for now the big question okay so if you are very far away, right, uh, and then come back to an area where you have already defeated enemies, then for s it kind of feels as if the enemies are going to die a second time because you are now again in range. That's kind of weird. Let's try this again. It's kind of strange. Like right now, I can't. Okay, I can see the enemies. But they do seem to be somewhat alive. Are they? A bit. Let's get closer. See what happens. No, nothing. Okay, good. I don't know. Strange. Oh, standing torch. It's nice. Nice. You can take it and maybe. Or use it and maybe make some more light down here. But okay. Mm, that was the whole well kind of thing here. No traps, please. Yeah, there are no traps down here. That's that. That's that. Um, ah, yeah, you can actually uh, go through here. So wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So that was the water area down there. Is there more there though? Probably not. Good. Let's get out of here. Do 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 do. 
This tree is somewhat strange looking, to be honest. Really, really, really strange. Okay, now, uh, we definitely go back to the camp. Ah. The perfect opportunity to end our little episode. Um, I do have to do some inventory management, uh, sell some items and whatnot, and uh, also I have to do a uh, long rest. Absolutely. But I'm definitely going to do this as a later point. Until then, like and subscribe, of course, and ta-ta.